What is up, YouTube? This is Stuart Elgate here with my YCS Toronto review. Um, yeah, I'm still doing this segment of the YCS reviews. I think it's a really good segment. So let's go in. YCS Toronto is very, um, pretty decent. Uh, it was a lot diverse some from than some of our past YCSs, but still the same decks just survive and pwn. It's oh, it's annoying. So first off, we got Dragon Ruler Plants. If you know. Um, this is like the only Dragon Ruler card I own. I know it's banned, but pretend it's like a Redox or something. So, this deck took up the most spots at the top 16 and top 32. Um, really powerful deck. Just so many options and plays. That Sacred Sword card is so broken. I mean, you, you take away the babies. You take away the, the Sarko. You take away the Rejuve. You take away their Heavy Storm. Still, they pwn. Um... I mean, I, I I think it's all about Sacred Sword, and uh, they should have semi-limited some of the big dragons. Um, and the Sacred Sword card is way too broken. Like, I had that on my list. I th I, th I definitely th think Konami should have limited that. But most spots, Dragon Ruler plants, and just regular Dragon Rulers, doesn't really matter. Dragon Rulers, Dragon Rulers, same thing. And then Mermills, Blackwings, and Spellbooks all took up some spots too and Mermills, I mean all they really lost was a Dragoons which I mean it, it, it's there it's a searcher but a lot of other decks have searchers at one and they still win so the deck barely got hurt I mean Diva at one most of them are even playing two Diva so just losing one Diva doesn't doesn't really do that much um, Deck's still really good still a lot of plays title makes the deck awesome um, I personally hate this deck but whatever you gotta deal with it and then Black Wings, the one Black Wing was able to survive. And dang, I did not know the Shura was bent, but. <laughs> Thank you. I really wanted it to win. I know everyone wanted Black Wings to win. So awesome to see. I, I, I saw the deck list. It's a kind of weird deck list. He wasn't playing Delta Crow and he was maining like um, three max C's and stuff. I personally think Delta Crow is an amazing card. I don't know why he wasn't playing it. And he was siding like Double Starlight Road and stuff. But Black Wings are. Uh, I personally think deck is awesome, really awesome deck, and it's awesome to see it back in the high YCS scene, so hopefully more people can pick up the deck and we can get like four or five of these in the top 16 next YCS, I mean, who knows. And then Stupid Prophecy still getting in there, like, come on guys, really? Uh, really, like, Prophecy, just, I hate Prophecy. For anyone who doesn't know, I hate Prophecy with a passion. And, come on, like, really? Still got a top, I think, like, there were two in the top 16 and stuff, and, like, one in the top 8. Um, whatever, it's Prophecy. We, you gotta still deal with it. I mean, just because they lost Judgment Day doesn't really mean anything. They still have three Secrets, three freaking, uh, what is that card? That that Blue Boy Magician. The, the Searchers are just way too good. Like, the deck, that Tower just nets so much advantage. It's like, you MST the Tower, get a free special. And Priestess, too. You try to Bottomless Priestess, uh, they'll just uh, use that Wisdom or whatever it's called and pop more cards. It's so good. So, yeah. Other decks that topped, we got Infernities, Fire Fist, and um, Dragoonity, Dragon Rulers, whatever you want to call it. Just Dragons with Dragoonities in them. Um, you know, Dragoonities, really good deck. You know, being able to summon all those um, synchros out of nowhere and stuff, and Dragon Ravine, really good with the, the whole Dragon Ruler stuff. Fire Fist, uh, a lot of people expected more to top, but I think only, like, a couple did, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, there's still a deck, there's still a thing, and stuff. And Infernities, the one Infernity, a lot of people are talking about this deck, and it's nice to see Infernities get in there, like, Black Wings and Infernities, I like some of the older decks that were in there. Um, so, yeah... That's pretty diverse, and now for other stuff, I know a couple Evil Swarm top 32 Um, not a lot, or none actually, top 16, which, surprisingly, but, I mean, what are you gonna do, you know? I think the problem with Evil Swarm is not enough good players are playing the deck. Like, the deck definitely has potential to top. For anyone who says they don't, they, they definitely do. But the thing is, just none of the good players, like, the best players are playing the deck. Like, I don't, I don't know why, but, like, all the best players are playing, like, all these dumb other decks and stuff, and... Whatever, so Evil Storm's still a good deck. Do not underestimate it at all.
And yeah, so that's mainly the stuff that topped. In the end, Dragon Rulers win it. Of course, Dragon Ruler Plants, whatever, just dragons, yeah. They won all these, they won worlds, they won freaking nationals, they j oh god, still. Whatever, and now we're going on the decks that did not top, and there were four notable ones. TG Stun, TG Stun, everyone's like Striker's Act at two, and skill Heavy's Band, and Skill Drain's at three and stuff, but no, TG Stun still can't top. Come on. Uh, whatever. Got Dark Worlds, I mean, D Fisher, Macro, and Soul Drain all went to one, yet still no Dark Worlds can still top. Come on. Uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of the deck, but I mean, still, like, there's no excuse this time why Dark Worlds couldn't end up top. Like, Macro, D Fisher, and Soul Drain, and Heavy Storms banned. Really? Like, come on, guys. Agents, too, even with Transmodify and stuff, even with TG Striker Vector 2, Agents still can't top. Come on. Like, really? Earth at 3. Still, no, not enough. And then for the last deck, um, Constellers. I, I didn't really know why Constellers didn't top. I thought losing their their one that one XC like that that barely did anything. Like Constellers still a really good deck. Um, don't under, underestimate Constellers. And so yeah, don't underestimate any of these decks. All these decks right here that didn't top are still really good contenders for the format. And yeah, and I know what Madolche did top thirty two. So don't forget about Madolche. Um. So, yeah, this is basically pretty diverse so far. Um, I know the the Tier 1 deck is definitely Dragons, so definitely watch out for Dragons and Prophecy. Do not think they're dead at all. So, anyway, guys, this video has gone way too long. Hope you enjoy this. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Um, and, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.